you get your hole cut, you're going to take a block of wood. Now this strip of wood, this is just an old scrap piece of wood we had here on the job site. Plywood works the best, but uh, this is just something, this is, will work really good for what we're going to do. You just stick it in the hole like that, then you're ready to put a screw in it. And um, you put a screw at the top and at the bottom of that board. Now you want to make sure that you pull, pull that stick towards you and then it, because that stick will have a tendency to go into the wall and once you get that in place, Rudy missed it there you go. All right, and then that's good and secure. You're ready for your little block of sheetrock. And, uh, and then, how does it fit, Rudy? Fits pretty good. And so you're ready to put a screw in that now. Too far. There you go. Once you get the screws in, you're ready for your next phase. Now the way I do this is I just I use my my knife and I put it on the wall. This stuff is sticky. You just put the you just put the blade against it and it cuts it right off. See how simple that was? Same thing goes here. I'm gonna hold it up there, roll it out a little bit, smooth it off, cuts it right off. So you just go all the way around the perimeter and then you are about ready to get the drywall mud on there. Once you get this tape on, the battle is halfway over. Okay, now Rudy, if you'll show them how to put the drywall mud on. Uh, now what we're doing here, we're just using regular drywall mud. If you have, want to use some uh, quick set, that's fine. But uh, you just put a coat of drywall mud over the mesh, and uh, it's going to be really good. Now, this particular job, we're going to put a texture on this wall, and. Uh, once you put the texture on, you won't ever see this patch. That's the whole idea about texture. There you have it, folks. Simple patch. That's how you hide a hole. Now I know you're saying, well, I can still see it. Well, we're not done with it. This is just the first step. You put the mud on there, let it dry, come back, sand it, put some more mud, done. Or if you want to use a quick set, you can cut, you can do it a lot quicker. But we, we got all day here, so we're going to just do it this way. So I hope you enjoyed that quick review on how to patch a hole. And, uh, well, I tell you what, Rudy, <laughs> I think we got our work cut out for us in this house. Okay, folks, now we're ready for our second coat. And uh, the second coat will actually hide the, the membrane that you're seeing there a little better. So I'm just gonna use a little wider trowel. This is more important, this is very important to use a, a trowel that's big enough to cover the hole or at least most of it. So once I put this coat on there, this mud didn't get stirred. Now that we've got that pretty much pretty much covered, tomorrow, when this is nice and dry, we'll come back in here and we will sand it off. If it's a little bit high, we'll sand it off and uh, we'll do the texture on the wall. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed that little demonstration on how to repair a drywall hole. And, uh, well, in the future, we'll show you more different details 
This particular one we're going to texture so it's not near as critical as a smooth wall finish, which is more common back in the Midwest. Here in the Southwest, we put a skip trial texture on everything. And this type of patch, you can disguise them very easily, you can hide them. And uh, that's the right way to hide a, pick, uh, a, a, a drywall hole, not hanging a picture in front of it. Rudy. Hey. Did you hear something? I think so.